Bobby here with Body Bob Bobby. Hey, one more episode. I'm going to just keep them coming straight up. Like every week, every week we get an episode. You know, we in Gainesville, at my crib in Gainesville. So, in this episode, I actually want to cover a topic. So, it's not going to be a workout video. It's going to be like a topic that this guy asked me in the gym. He asked me for advice on this topic that I'm going to discuss. So, I wanted to bring it to your guys' attention, maybe talk about it, maybe help some other people out. In my opinion, if you know, I help helping this guy, I try to help this guy out. So, in my opinion, if I can help somebody else out, I'm just gonna throw the, you know, throw the knowledge out there that I know that I learned from experience. Now, the topic was this guy came up to me and he was basically asking. He saw me training and he basically asked me, "Do you go to failure?" all the time, all right? Now, I do and I don't, all right? Now, this is what I wanna talk about. Now, before you even, this is gonna be more towards the intermediate advanced guys, all right? If you're a beginner, now, I, honestly, like, you know, you've been doing weights, or if you, you're a beginner, you just started doing weights, you're gonna be responsive pretty quick, no matter what kind of workout you're doing, right? So, if you're putting any kind of load on the muscle and you're a beginner, you're gonna be putting on muscle. Alright, now, this will become stagnant and you'll have to start doing other things more and more challenging to continue to progress, continue to, to grow, continue to get stronger, or whatever, and just continue to achieve your goals, you have to do more and more stuff, you know, if you want your path to beginner phase. Now, he asked me about failure specifically. Now, when I go, and you've seen my videos, you know, if you see my chest or my legs, my back video, whatever, You'll see that I do warm-ups, and my warm-up sets are obviously not to a failure because I'm trying to save a lot of gas for the heavy lifts. So basically, I warm up, and then in most 95% of my workouts, I'm going to do a power movement in the beginning. So if I'm, I'm, you know, striving to get stronger, so I'm not going to use a lot of, you know, high rep ranges in the beginning. So, for example, my chest, I did. You know, in that last video I posted, I did, I think, five sets of two. Now, this wasn't, it was close to maximum, but it wasn't complete failure, okay? So, after that, though, when I come back down, so I do, like, five sets of two, you know, and then my warm in the beginning that aren't failure, when I, once I start, once I get past that, then yes, I'm, I'm going to go to a failure. Now, I do this because it pushes me, it, it pushes me where I'm not comfortable okay so get out of your comfort zone is basically what I'm telling you guys yeah go to failure but get out of your comfort zone because that's what's going to push you that's what's going to get you to the next level you know in your in your training whatever it may be it's fat loss it's building muscle it's building strength whatever you have to push past your comfort zone so I'll give you an example if you're doing bench press like we were just talking about chest if you're doing bench press and you're doing like four sets of ten and you're doing like clean sets of 10 and you're, and you know, you're racking, you're not breathing heavy, you know, you're not sweating, you're not, your heart ain't racing, like, that's not pushing yourself, you know? Now, beginners can get away with that because any, any kind of load of the muscle they'll, they'll build, you know, I've already said that. So, basically, yes, go to failure, but be smart. So, I push past, I go balls to the wall after my heavy lifts. So, in order to be safe in doing that, you have to make sure you're fueling your body properly. You have to make sure you're sleeping properly. Okay, if you're not, if you're going ham in the gym, you know, if you're doing crazy ass drop sets and you know fatiguing out and failing out like every workout or every set, and then you go home, and you're not fueling your body. You're not, you know, giving your body nutrients to recover. That's not going to be good, guys. All right. So you basically, if you're training harder. And when I go to the gym, I, I aim to kill it. So I'm going for failure sets after my power move is out of the way. I get that out of the way, then every other set's maximum effort. And I'm fueling my body after this, you know, or even the next day, just making sure the body has enough protein to recover, like to build, to repair the muscle, enough carbs to replace the glycogen that you depleted once you're going that hard. And, you know, make sure you get enough sleep. So a lot of people are iffy on this subject about going to complete failure, but for me, and I think maybe people are just like kind of scared to do that because they don't I, don't, I don't know what it is. A lot of people are iffy on that subject. For me, I go I go to failure. After, like I said, after my power lift, after my power movements are out of the way, and I'm doing hypertrophy work, it's all, it's all maximum reps. 
you know. Now, the rep ranges will vary, but I usually pick weights that's gonna make me get maximum effort up to like 15 reps. So, 15, 10, 12, something like that. It's not gonna be like a set of 50, you know, unless it's like a crazy drop set or something like that. But, when I'm pushing myself 100%, like failure, it's gonna be like between 10 and 15 reps. Something moderately heavy, something I can still push myself. So, that's what I wanna to talk to you guys. I mean, do, I mean, do what you want to do, but that's just my advice. I mean, I've, I've been training for like 10 years, and that's how I've progressed. You know, I've gotten, you got to get out of your comfort zone. And I think you guys have already know this. Uh, if you were watching this channel, you know, the boy Mike Rasheed says, get comfortable with being uncomfortable. And that's a good principle. You have to go in there, push past your comfort zone, and just, you know, that's how you're going to get gains. That's how you're going to progress get stronger, build the muscle, you gotta you got push, you gotta push yourself. And that's how you that's how you continue to grow. But that's the topic for today. If you guys want to work out a video, my bad. I just wanted to touch on this because the guy came up to me and the gym was asking, so I figured I'd help some people out, man. You know, I want to help you guys out. I want you guys to get them games. You ain't games, Bill. You need to get them games. You know what I'm saying? Hey, before, before you leave this video, before you X, the X button, if you hit the pause button, or if you're on a phone, close the phone out, before you do any of that, before you do any of that, before you do any of it, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, all of the above, D, all of the above, I'm going to holler at you guys.